it is organic beauty i'm so excited to speak to y'all it's been like three days <laughs> and i have not recorded okay if you're new here welcome and don't forget to like comment and subscribe because like we get into it okay so as you can see i am beating my face okay and i am using some concealer from um, this company, you, you guys probably have seen it, seen this company before. Um, Makiage, Al Makiage. Let me see. It's been in my drawer for a while. <laughs> you know. So anyway, so that's how it is. Ah, this is bad. I think I need to get a cloth. Okay, this looks a little bit better. Yeah. You guys probably have used it before, but this is their cream concealer palette. I got deep. And the deep is hyphen 3.5. So it's four concealer shades and two corrector shades, right? So let's look inside. Now, I feel like they should have told you 13 and 22 are the corrector shades. So according to this map on the back, these two are the corrective shades. And the rest are concealers. So concealer, 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 concealer. So I, I like it because it gives you a nice little like selection of concealers. And I decided to go with this concealer right here on the side. And I don't know how I'm doing. I mean, I may not even be doing this right. Like, <laughs> yo, I don't know how to do this. Okay. I really don't. Um, like I said, I love makeup, but I just be winging it every time. And it be, it be coming out good. I don't know how I do it, y'all, but it be coming out good. So I put some on, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to try to, like, blend it in with this brush. I've been using this brush for my makeup earlier because I kind of, I did put a round of makeup on, you know what I mean? So I'm going to try to, like, blend this in as much as possible I'm learning right with y'all. Like when I be seeing these girls on TikTok, I be like, okay, that's how, that's how you do it. But by no means, if you need advice, I tell y'all this all the time. If you need advice with interior design, I got you. But when it comes down to freaking makeup, I got, I could pick out the colors. I know what's hot, but you know, putting it on, girl, bye. So I'm going to try to wing it. I never put concealer on, but I wanted to see how it was going to look. So it's looking okay. Like definitely look like I just woke up. Got some stuff in my eye. And I have my mirror here, y'all. Y'all know I love my little mirror. So I'm looking at that mirror too. Okay. So I just got out the shower. I got a busy day today. Oh, I got a lot of shit to do. <laughs> got a lot of shit to do. But I'm going to take it easy and take it slow. I took this uh, detox. Because I'm, I'm trying to like do like a mild colon cleanse. You know what I'm saying? It's that time of the year, especially since the holidays are here. But like nothing like crazy. You know what I mean? Like just like a mild one because I, I don't want to feel uncomfortable. So I'm going to get into that in a few minutes when I go upstairs. I'm going to take y'all with me. So I'm going to be popping in and out today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put some more makeup on under here because I just feel like it's a little too bright. This is how I do my makeup, y'all. I'll be seeing the girls. they be having on their wrists and everything. I'll be like, okay. But it's going on like this. <laughs> this is Makeup 101. <laughs> Okay, so I am going in. Listen, if you are a makeup artist, hit me up. I am on Instagram too. You guys have my Instagram handle. Uh, so hit me up. Maybe you could teach me some things so I can come and get a lesson, you know? Okay, so yeah. This is kind of how it looks. I feel like I got a random here, hair somewhere here. Okay. So that blended in well for me. Like, I like that. So what I'm going to do now is... um, 
I got like this fancy, I'm gonna show y'all this too. Um, so this is hazelnut, but this is a, a retouch. It's probably just setting powder. Powder. That's exactly what it is. Fenty setting powder. It's massive. This is why I love Fenty products. And I told you I'm going to do a, a whole Fenty haul because I got a lot. All of that back there, Fenty. Okay. Right here. There. So I'm going to do a whole haul for that. Gosh, you know how you got that one hair and you're like, damn. Okay. I'm trying to get it out. All right, this will do. So I'm going to put this on. This is hazelnut, like I said, pro filter. So let me be careful. It's super like powdery, but the hue is really nice. I always like to blow my brushes. I'm just putting a little bit on. It's just basically gonna mat it out. And then I'll probably put some setting powder on after. I mean, setting spray. <laughs> Yo, I know I'll be putting on it. Like when I see these girls put on their makeup, it, it be looking different. <laughs> it doesn't look like this. I'm gonna put some up here only because I think that it would be wise for me to do that. My hair is looking a hot ass mess too. I gotta do something to this hair. But for right now it is what it is. I just kind of like threw it up in some type of concoction. I wanted to show you guys this. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some up here. I feel like I'm getting like little hairs everywhere. Okay. Okay, I think that'll do. That'll do for now. I mean, it's not like I'm going outside, so. <laughs> this is just for y'all. I just wanted you to see it. But it's a very natural look. Not for nothing. A very natural look. Damn, that powder like went all in my nose. I missed y'all. Yo, for three days, not like... To be a vlogger, you got to be a particular type of person. And you really got to be comfortable in front of the camera. And you really got to enjoy what you're doing. Like, I'm just starting out. But this is not the end all, be all. Be all, end all, however you want to. <laughs> I'm here to stay. So, you guys got to follow me on TikTok. I think I mentioned that before. I'm working with a company. And I'm not allowed to it's not that type of setup i'm not allowed to mention it here you know what i mean it's just there so once you get it once you follow me i can send you direct links to when i'm going live on tiktok so when i go live on tiktok then you guys will know so i'll give you a quick synopsis and it's going to just be real high level because i just cannot talk about it right now um not because i don't want to but just i can't so Basically, I will be modeling clothes on TikTok, okay? And you will actually get to see how the clothes look on me, which is important, right? Because a lot of times when you order things from different places, you don't, you're taking that risk of not knowing how this is going to even look, right? So the cool thing is it's about two hours, two and a half hours. You can ask questions of whatever you want. Uh, we'll go over things like material, accessories, things and suggestions that I can give you on how to really wear the product in multiple ways if possible. So for example, if you have a jacket, can you wear that jacket with other shades underneath? Can you wear it with maybe all black or all red? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how can you jazz it up? How can you get the most benefit out of this particular jacket? So it's going to be different outfits, but I'm just giving you an example. Um, but with that being said, I'm very excited to do this and I am 
very grateful to have gotten sponsored to do it and especially since i'm starting out fresh here so it's a great start but the only thing is i can't advertise here which is okay but that's why i'm telling you follow me on tiktok so i could keep you tiktok you don't stop notified when i get <laughs> when i go live i'll be going live on there every day um this will probably come into effect sometime in december but you know what I mean? Make sure you follow me and subscribe here. So for updates or anything, you know, you know. And then I got a coupon code for y'all. So make sure you follow me, girl. All right. So today, my nieces has challenged me to go to five and below in Dollar Tree. So I did not go outside. However, I got it delivered. So these are the two that I chose to get. These are eyeshadows la colors is the brand nobody's really wearing this i don't think i don't know people do what they want i encourage you to do what you want right so these are two different types of shades let's look and see what's the difference okay so this is rose and then this is nude i mean it's obviously right here <laughs> in the front i'm like where is it I feel like this thing is not really blended like how I want it to be blended. Because do you like it whipped or blended? See, this is why I don't be messing with no damn concealer. I don't think I even need it. Okay. Oh my God, I just had the craziest hair on my eye. Um, I'm over that concealer. I don't think I'm doing it again though. Or maybe it was too light, you think? Maybe it was too light. This is too much work. See, I like to put on my makeup and go. I can't be dealing with all of these beat faces for half an hour. No, no. I'd love to spend more time on my eyeshadow, though. Like, eyeshadows and lip glosses or lipsticks, I love, like, spending time on that. Like, for sure. Um. So, I'm going to try these eyeshadows. And then I got this lip gloss from sephora i may have showed it to you before it's called gloss i don't know did i even show this to y'all damn you know what let's do the lip gloss first right oh all right put this down I like that. This was on sale at Sephora at the time. And this was like a month ago. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. This is a really pretty color. What is this? Regal. Regal. Damn, am I gonna need some glasses? Shit. Okay, let me see. Remember I told you I push it one one direction, I think it goes on easier. By the way, guys, not to like keep changing the subject, but I just feel like I'm overwhelmed because I got so much to say. Mm. Um it's a bit much. It's a bit much <laughs> for me. Like, you know, I keep it safe. But what I'll do really quickly because I want to get into what I was about to say. I always tell you guys, like, if a lipstick is too much, use, like, a pencil and just kind of blend in and like this. This is some good gloss because this pencil is like, no. <laughs> this pencil didn't do a damn thing. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, get the gist. But it's a banging color. I just don't know if I like, I like love it. Will I get it again? Probably not. But I mean, I guess I got to use it. But the bottle though, damn. I mean, like. This is cute. The packaging on here is 
<laughs> cute okay y'all did that sephora and it's a sephora brand sephora so you can get that from there listen you can mix and match your makeups if you like let me get going with this so i don't know which one i want to do whether it's the rose or the nude but because i put on that gloss i think maybe the rose might work better unless he was inside right because you gotta make an executive decision so these look more like rose gold toned yeah and they tell you where it is right so this is the highlighter area lids 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 crease highlighter so highlighter or diagonal lids are vertical you get the crease here and then crease down here right lids Highlighter, highlighter, crease, 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 crease. Cool thing is it's in there, like they tell you. That's pretty cool. Um, but let me show you the nude. So I can see why that would be nude. And it's the same concept, the highlighter and all that. So I'm going with the rose. Now, I don't want nothing too dark. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. Let's see how this goes. This is all new to me, y'all. I don't know. It didn't really come out. You know, normally when I have my eyeshadow and I use a, a brand that I spent more money on, it's that first stroke, it's coming out. Okay. Not bad. I think it goes good with the, the lipstick. Let me see it in the other mirror. Mm. It's looking kind of matte. I don't know if I'm gonna like this a whole lot. It's giving the 70s. <laughs> Not necessarily now. <laughs> Definitely. You know how it was like extra powdery in the 70s with their makeup? <laughs> That's how it's looking right now but we gonna keep going like you know i'm not giving up look you win some you lose some and we gonna keep going because that's just the type of girl i am a loyal let's see you could definitely save this but like <laughs> this is not it <laughs> thumbs down <laughs> No, you know why I say it's not it? Because the pigment is is not great. You know what I mean? And it's it's dry, like dry, you know? Like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just really dry. It's giving that dry look. So I'm gonna really have to say this, but I'm gonna keep going because it's a challenge, right? So I'm gonna have to work it out. Now, I don't see, oh, you know why? Because that was for the freaking crease. Oh my gosh. Oh well, you know, like what can I do now? I totally went for that color because I thought it would go prettier with my lipstick. But I could have gone for this one too. Well, you know what? Let me try to put it on top. Let's see what happens. Because it does have a little bit more sparkly on the lid one. And that's probably why it was so damn dry. Let me see. Yeah, this looks much better. Okay, so it's not completely trash. It was just, I messed up. Okay, that's on me. I'll take that L easily. So I'm basically putting it on top of the crease. The key to this is just blending. Once you like know how to blend really well, which I do know how to blend pretty well. Um, 
I think you can do anything you want. And it actually doesn't look bad. Like, all right, so the review went from like a one to maybe an eight. That's a big difference in that amount of time. Yeah. So I'm liking, the pigmentation does look better. Now that was for the lid. I think I OD'd on a crease, so we should be good on a crease. Um, now, but I just kind of want to do up here and then just like really blend it in. So maybe I'll take the highlighter and just do this one. Cause I think that one's too bright. So just gonna kind of put it up here. You can always go, I guess, dark to light when it comes down to this up here. So I'm just putting it right here in this area. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to blend it after. So now I'm gonna take that crease again. And I'm just gonna blend it. Whipped or blended. <laughs> I didn't put any mascara on and I did that on purpose. Okay. I am gonna put on some blush though. And I am gonna put on mascara, so don't even trip. I still feel like this is the best one. I see this palette, girl. And I got it from Amazon. The pigmentation on here is sick. It's sick. I'm definitely going to get more colors, but <laughs> this is where it's at for me. So if you didn't see my last vlog, a couple of vlogs, it's definitely on there. So this goes good to me. Like, you know what I mean? I could deal with that. And I'm gonna just put a little bit of blush. Obviously I get, this is from Sephora, Patrick Ta. Um, and this is the blush. Do I have the number of blush? Or do they only have one blush? Well, it definitely has the cream in there. So I think it's called Oh She's Different because it has the cream on top and then the blush in the bottom. Let me just lift it up. So. I don't deal with the cream though. That I don't like my face feeling like super moist like that. I know it sounds crazy, but I just don't like it. Um, I definitely like the powder and I think it's like really good for me. So blush, no blush, blush, no blush. So you wanna smile when you put it on a blush. I know that much. Cause it's like you're blushing. Honestly, guys, like, you don't have no idea. Like, not vlogging for, like, a day was, like, ugh. I was, like, I need to do it. But I've been just so busy this whole weekend. Because the holidays, well, a holiday was here. But still, it took a lot out of me. And I was, like, I need a break. Okay. That'll do. Just kind of gives it that warm look, you know what I mean? Just brings everything together. I always put some up there and down here, just a little bit. You know, just make it one. But I feel like it's cute. I mean, thank you, Bob and Below. All right, those LA colors are not that bad, to be honest with you. And um, actually, let me get something. You guys know the one size from Sephora is my go-to to preserve the serve. All right, that's your setting, your setting spray. Oh my, okay. So you have the mascara, 
So let me just go ahead and put that on. Remember I tell you to always do that, uh, otherwise it'll be like super thick like how it's now. <laughs> I'm just trying to show you guys how it looks like how it looks with it and how it looks without it. There's, there is a difference. So now you get to see it. This time I'm gonna move in a little closer so you can really see. This is my favorite, guys. If you're really a fan, you know what this is. But just in case you just joined today, I'll give you a one-time courtesy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, this one is um, Superhero. And this is the mascara from Sephora. But it looks like this. And it's bomb. It makes your lashes look so natural. I don't care if you don't have that much lashes. And I feel like my lashes are like average. And I don't wear fake lashes. It just, I don't know. It didn't look good on me. But if I ever decided to, I'm definitely getting them professionally done. And then individually placed in. But this is my fave. This is so freaking good. I mean, this just like comes alive and it's so easy to take off y'all. Like so freaking easy. Like I told y'all before, like back in the day, I would look like I got beat up with certain um, mascaras when I was taking it off, but I'm just kind of looking at it. But with this brand, popping. It is popping. Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with this. Well, there you have it. You have the. LA Color Rose from Five and Below. Thank you, nieces, because I needed some content to put up there. And they was like, do it that way. So that, and then you have the lipstick by Sephora. Okay, and that would be Regal. You got, and I'm going in random orders. The setting spray, one size. Makeup, of course, Fenty. And my number is 400. I just had to make sure. <laughs> yep. And then obviously mascara is Superhero from Sephora. But if you guys... Oh, oh don't forget my blush. Patrick Ta from Sephora. If you guys have any questions, let me know for sure. I'm going to wrap up my hair. I don't know at this second, but I want to do it. And then before I got distracted before, um, this necklace... There's this company, I think it's called 818 or something like that. This girl sells the cutest little daintiest pieces online. And I have her, I'm following her on Instagram. But if you're interested in like unique pieces of jewelry, you know, um, I'm going to put that information below. Like, I think it's better that I just put the information in the description box just in case. Because you guys could just go straight to it. It might save a lot of time. But I do like when you guys engage with me. So I'd be wanting you guys to like send me messages about what I went over. But if it's something that I didn't indicate in the description box, send me a message. <laughs> My return rate is like, if I'm available, I'm hitting you right back. <laughs> okay. So don't forget. So, um, yeah, I have to do quite a few things. And I don't know if I want to do my hair now or later, but I do want to make some green juice. So I am going to take y'all upstairs. We're going to make the green juice and then, because I got to do some work. It's, it's My hair don't look this bad, like right now. It's it's not the best, but it's, it's, not, it's not that bad. So I think I'm going to do my hair after I do my work because 
I don't know how long that's going to take. And um, I don't want to be doing work all day. And I have to post these deals for my own business. And I'm not disclosing it. <laughs> that's private. But I do have to um, do some retail stuff online. So... I am going to put the stuff back and I'll see you guys upstairs. Hey guys, so I'm upstairs and I'm about to make my green juice. Mm -hmm. And I just wanna let you guys know I woke up like this. <laughs> I'm not always put together y'all. Like, trust me, I take my breaks and I don't mind it at all. Sometimes you just don't feel like doing anything to your hair that will require a lot of work. Like. Normally I put the clippings in. Sometimes I put in those headband wigs. Those are like super fast. But like if it requires me to do any flat ironing, which I try not to do, then I'm typically not about to be flat ironing or whatever. So, all right. So I want to make this green juice. Y'all pretty much know what's in this green juice all the time. But I wanted to try and put some matcha in it um, this time just to see. Yeah, so this brand, I think this was like kind of expensive. The matcha love. It's probably because it's organic. Mm. It don't look organic. <laughs> Whatever. But I remember it being a lot. Um, I don't put this in my green juices, but I wanted to show you guys this. Um, Florida crystals. This is like raw cane sugar. This is the only sugar that I use. I don't use anything else. And I barely, rarely use sugar. Rarely. Um, all right, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. But I definitely want to put the matcha in there. I got my green apple. And honestly, guys, like, I had wound up leaving these apples out. I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. Um, I don't know. Like, I just feel, I don't like it warm, like warm apples. And I feel like they go bad really quickly. So, oh my God, bless me. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm doing it. I'm tossing these away. So, but I do have new apples. Maybe it just felt like the texture too felt like weird. So I got my little bin. I'm going to put some more in there, but I'm not gonna put a lot. I'll probably just put like two or three. Oh my gosh, guys, my husband had made this freaking stuffing. Oh, oh the stuffing was off the chain. All right, so it, it was just like the stovetop stuffing, you know, the normal stuff that you see in a store. But then he put like spicy pork sausage in it. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening to me? I swear I'm not coming in down with anything. Oh, that was intense. Bless me. All right. So, um, don't worry. I'm the only one touching these apples. <laughs> but, yeah, that stuff was so freaking good. So, if you want to just make stuff in just because, because they sell it in the store all year round. It's not like only Thanksgiving on the holidays. If you want to try this the next time, you want to put the stovetop stuffing, you know, whatever. Make it however the directions say to make it. Because I didn't make it. So, I don't even remember ever making stuffing really. But, um <laughs> yeah so you want to go ahead and do it the way that they say to do it and then but still include that spicy sausage i guess you could use whatever brand you want but it's typically the ones damn i wish i had the packaging but it's the ones that come in that plastic roll and it ha and it's twisted at the ends that's all i got you know if i could find a picture for y'all and y'all can't understand what i'm saying to you right now i'll make it make sense just hit me up here or hit me up on the gram and I will get that for y'all yeah so this is what I'm putting in my green juice today and I'm not even going to <laughs> I did a video on this I'm not even putting y'all through that because that that video was like crazy long so yeah matcha we're gonna do the green apples I want to put in mm, mm, mm. let me see 
I could never find it. Okay. Yeah. Black seeds. I'm telling you, this combination that I'm doing is going to make you take a... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> the fiber in here is crazy. All right. So, I also... So, yeah. So, I got the flax seeds. Boom. Whatever brand you want. But that's the ground. That's the grounded like one. So, it's like very, very uh, minced. Small. Protein. This is vanilla. Herbalife. You can use whatever one you want. There's no rules on my channel. Okay. And then... This is the raw beauty for organic beauty. <laughs> raw from Hum. You could buy this or you could subscribe. Their stuff is really good. I use a lot of their products actually, but this one is my favorite. I'm going to show you guys how this looks. It does come with a scooper. It does last a while. And you're only using one scoop. So, just about that much. And that's how it looks. It's super green. And it definitely tastes super green <laughs> okay um do i have everything i need i don't know because i never write it down i'll be like damn i forgot ice or damn i forgot this all right but so far oh spinach lord could you imagine if i messed that up please all right so let me get some spinach Spinach. I love spinach. I love it, love it, love it. This is the organic one. But you could use whatever one you want. But I love, for me, I love baby spinach. So I'm doing that. So I'm going to make a green juice today. I'm putting it in my, my cup like I did last time. That works for me. But I think I'm going to get, I saw this girl with like this small little cute like milk cup from back in the day. It was like, it's glass, but it's like shaped like the milk. So, all right. So kind of similar to this, but say it was probably about this high and then, all right, let's do this. Say this is the bottom. It kind of comes up like that to the top, but it's, it's super cute. Um, people sometimes juice in those things and then they leave them in the fridge. I mean, do what you want to do but i just want the bottle and i think i'm gonna get that because i just think that would be so cute and i want one of those glass straws oh those aren't those so cute oh my god love love little small dainty things i love cute stuff so um i'm gonna want to do that too so after i make this green juice i am going to make me some breakfast and probably it's just gonna be eggs i'm trying to change my life y'all like i'm just like not trying to eat crazy like i'm trying to get it together okay and i wanted to show y'all this hey guys so i wanted to actually talk to you about this i'm gonna be starting this cleanse today this cleanse is by np pure it's a mag 07 cleanse i've been it's actually vegan um but i've been looking for like a detox colon cleanse type situation but I couldn't find anything without Senna in it or anything similar to Senna and Senna just really makes you go and it's really not that great for me I mean because it really makes you go like it's an emergency if you know what I mean like you know go go <laughs> so um I feel like I tried this in the past but maybe a different type and definitely a different brand um, but this one is pretty cool because it's an oxygen based overnight cleanse which pretty much makes your digestive sy system feel fresh and clean so most people are taking two to three per night people say two are reasonable because you'll go maybe about eight hours later depending on you know how backed up you are but three would really have you going all day so if like you're in the office it might not be a, the best fit for you but if you're working from home, two to three would be ideal. But I think for me personally, I'm going to stick with the two. I'm just going to see and read off the ingredients. I mean, it's kind of blocked out, but I can kind of see. It's basically magnesium and potassium in there. Um, and that's it. <laughs> so the, you can use this from seven to ten days. I want to keep you guys posted. I'm going to take some pictures. Like it's mad late right now. It just came in. 
not too long ago and I just retrieved the package from Amazon and that's exactly where I got it from. I will leave the description in the description box for you guys. Uh, but at the end of the day, I definitely am going to take a before and after picture when this all is all said and done. Um, Cause I feel like I'm just so backed up and I'm just not losing the weight even though I'm exercising at a minimum speed, but still, you know, um, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna get into that. But back to this, you should take this right before bed. I would say don't eat within the last two hours of going to bed. Like, so if you're going to bed at 11, don't eat after 9 p.m. All right, and you wanna make sure you drink some water. All right, and they recommend, I, I'd say at least a 16 ounce bottle if you can, but if you could drink two of those bottles, if you're probably better off only because sometimes certain, certain things would give you cramps. And I hope that this doesn't do that. I will keep you guys posted, but I do want you to see my progress and I do want to take you along with me. So I'm super excited. So I will <laughs> let you guys know how this all works out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will check back in with you guys in the morning with those pictures. I took this last night. I told y'all I was trying to do the cleanse, right? Now. I gave y'all a little synopsis yesterday and you'll see it in this video. <laughs> but the MAG-07, I'm not gonna go into details of what it all does because I did go over this already, right? But I wanna say it went down and exactly 2.30 a.m. I took two pills, right? They said most take three. When I woke up, Nothing was coming, like nothing was happening basically, right? I'm walking around. I'm like, damn, do I need to get on that fucking treadmill? Like <laughs> what's happening right now? Cause I wanna be in a situation where I'm outside and things popping off, you know what I mean? So then what I did was, I was like, all right, hold on, I gotta fix what this is getting out of control. <laughs> These things gotta go out of their own. All right, so look, I'm moving on. Basically, I'm walking around, right? Everything cool, everything straight. I sit down at my vanity and I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> now, at this time, it is like 12.30. I, I know, and, I, and what I did was I wound up drinking like some warm water. I said, you know what, let me drink some warm water. And I'm gonna try to do that every morning, drink warm water with lemon. But I didn't put no lemon in this one. I just had some warm water. And it wasn't even a lot. I wanna say it was a good maybe four ounces of water, right? Nothing crazy, basically like a long, elasting sip so i freaking drunk it and like yo five minutes this is word to everything five minutes after i drunk it things was ready so i go i'm not even about to get into details but i don't want y'all to be like this girl nasty as hell i'm about to <laughs> i'm not about to put y'all through all of that but i will say this it went down and it wasn't difficult and I'm talking about the elimination. <laughs> Let's get technical. It wasn't difficult. It was a smooth move. <laughs> if I can say any different than that, it, that's all I can say about it. It was very smooth and it just, it was healthy. It wasn't like a miscellaneous looking one. <laughs> I'm trying to keep a high level for y'all. This might be comical, but like, yeah. It, it went down and it wasn't a long thing. It was like, all right, bam, boom, bam. And that was it. So I was like, okay, so all right. So I feel comfortable with that. I can increase it to three and see what's going to happen. But anyway, it's seven days. Oh, I was supposed to take a picture for y'all. I'm going to still take that picture because I don't think it did much. But the goal here is to see what happens in seven days because I get so freaking bloated. And I don't know if y'all get bloated but it happens sporadically and it really probably has something to do with what I'm consuming at that time, right? But like, it's uncomfortable and you know, you can hold a lot of weight if you have a lot of gas in your system or poop in your system. I mean, it's just what it is, right? So like, I'm trying to eliminate that. <laughs> so I'm putting myself through this, right? 
for myself but i'm just also sharing with you guys like it's it's an alternative and i'm not saying you should buy it by their brand like i'm not saying that at all they are not sponsoring me at all okay so you do what you want to do and however you want to do it but yeah i just don't want to feel bloated anymore and i feel like a lot comes along when you're when you need to detox your your body like if you're feeling tired if you got random headaches that just come pop up if you feel lazy and not motivated, if you're feeling bloated, if you can't sleep, you probably need to detox, okay, ladies? So, like, it's, it needs to get done at least once a year. Now, some detoxes are more intense than others. I've had those detoxes where I'd be outside and I'd be like, oh, God, no, I got to find a restaurant. And, like, living in New York City, guys, like... <laughs> They always let you use their restaurants, especially now since the whole COVID thing, like they not letting you use. So you don't want to be in that situation. And then you also got to factor your, like I work from home. I tell you guys this all the time, right? So like, it's easy for me to dip out if I need to, right? Who's going to really know? I'm human. But if you are outside or if you're at the job and you feel self-conscious about things like that, and I know a lot of people do, I know people that will literally hold their stuff for eight hours because <laughs> they're like oh no i don't want to be that girl some jobs are set up to where it's just one bathroom like i've worked at a job where it was just one bathroom on the floor that you was working on so and and let me give you the visual because i'm not going to say the company's name but it was a whole open office i was probably straight fresh out of high school at this time whole open office you know new york offices aren't always the biggest biggest offices i mean we don't have a lot of space here so all right let me tell you this quick story real fast because i have to <laughs> me and my best friend used to work together at this company but on this particular floor it was an open space and there was like a small kitchen on our floor right there was just one straight laid out floor and it was one bathroom there was other bathrooms that were for other companies and allocated for them if you were to leave out and go on the elevator to another floor. But I don't remember it being any like bathrooms or and actually now I think about it, no. That was the only bathroom allocated to us because it was an open floor concept. But if you did decide to go to another floor, you had to have the code to get into their bathrooms. I think our bathroom was the only bathroom set up like that to where it was in the office. But there was this one girl that decided to use the bathroom and I guess she just could not hold it. I mean, we human, we are human. And so she was in the bathroom for a while. I wasn't even paying her any mind, but my girlfriend was like, yo, I need to use a bathroom. And I'm like, well, go ahead. And she was like, I can't somebody in the bathroom. And they've been in the bathroom for a long time. So I was like, man, that's your problem, not mine. So then, <laughs> and girl, if you watch this, you know who you are, okay? Like, let's not... <laughs> <laughs> if you, if my BFF is watching this right now, you know about this story. <laughs> so yeah, so the girl goes into the bathroom, whatever. And I'm like, damn, she is taking a long. It was like 15 minutes. That's a long time. Remember, it's only one bathroom. You got at least 50 to 60 employees. It's lunchtime. <laughs> like, come on, bro. So then she winds up coming out the bathroom like nothing happens, right? Like nothing ever happened. So my friend goes in the bathroom. I'm like, yo, I ain't even like... I already already know like what's going on, what happened in that bathroom. But I'm like, yo, I don't even have to use the bathroom. So like, I'm I'm straight. So my friend comes out. <laughs> I guess she used the bathroom. I don't know. Like that's not my story to tell. But uh, I feel like she did use the bathroom, and she was like, that that bathroom smelled so freaking bad. Like, and. She wound up calling the girl, like, every time she saw her, like, shitty. Because, like, and it was, like, at the, you know, you in high school, you immature, right? Like, it was just the funniest shit ever. Because I was just, like, you know, because, damn, like, it, it was bad. Because it was coming outside into the office. <laughs> like, it was, like, no getting away from this. And this girl had at least three to four hours to work her shift left. So, it was bad. So, I say that to say some people don't feel comfortable especially in that type of environment to poop at the job because of like people will like say stuff and sometimes y'all be washing your hands i'll be seeing y'all y'all be seeing y'all y'all need to wash your hands if <laughs> y'all be using these public bathrooms okay you go into the bathroom you come out you better wash those hands to completion i mean like towel 
wash it for however many minutes, seconds you need, whatever is floats your boat. But y'all better wash our hands. It's a bit of germs out here in these streets. But I be seeing y'all that don't wash our hands and that's nasty. So uh, I <laughs> was like, you know, I understand when people don't feel comfortable using the bathroom at work. This story has become extremely long, but I'm just gonna wrap it up, okay? Cause I gotta make this damn cream juice. This Mago 7, and I will leave this in the description, is really, really, really good so far. Like I said, I've used this before in the past. It just wasn't this one. This one is cleanse. I could have used like detox or something else for my skin. I don't know. But I have used this in the past and it has magnesium and potassium in it. And that's all it has. I couldn't see, I couldn't give you guys a percentage last night, but let me see if I can rip it off now. So I wasn't trying to do it last night. All right. Yeah, so it has a significant amount. I'm all about the percentages. 246% magnesium in there. Um, which is equivalent to 1,035 milligrams. Um, and then potassium, 99 milligrams. So, but it is certified organic rice flour. Most of these things have rice flour in it. Um, citric acid, vegetable capsules. It's it's vegan, so. Um, but it says magnesium as oxygenated magnesium oxides. I really think I need glasses, y'all. I never thought. I always had 20-20 vision until now. When you hit your 40s, it hits different. <laughs> and yes, I did say my 40s. Okay, but that's all I'm going to say. And... Uh, this is good. It says, great for enhancing your wellness routine, improving slow sluggish digestion, creating a healthier, happier gut, Ooh. and relieving occasional constipation. Sometimes that be happening. So this is a great thing to have. Like a seven to 10 days, that's all you need to use it for, but I guess you use it as need needed. The reviews are there. I don't need to go into much details on this, but I decided to give it a shot. And... I want to say it was a good $27, something like that. I mean, how many capsules come in here? 90 capsules. And not using it every day. So, I mean, like, once you go through your 7 to 10 days and you're using 2 to 3 a day, I mean, you do the math. You're going to have more left after this 7 to 10 days. So you should be good. All right. Anyway, guys, I think that wraps up everything I wanted to talk about about that. I'm going to take that picture before picture and I'll probably slide it at the end of this video. So keep watching and um, I'm going to actually, hmm, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to do a vlog every single day and I'm going to take I'm still going to take the before picture, but I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to take a picture every day. That that makes most sense. I'm going to take a picture every day, and I want you guys to monitor how it looks at the end, like in terms of my abdomen area. And I want you guys to see if you see a difference, and you let me know. And let me know if you guys decide to try this. I want to know, too. I'm going to try to make this video really short. And when I say really short, I mean an hour. Because <laughs> I can never get less than an hour <laughs> for my vlogs. I don't know why. Like, if it's something real fast, like I did a review on something, that's like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But for, like, stuff like this, an hour. Because I just talk so much. But I can't help myself. Y'all my friends. No. <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all know that. Nah, but, um... Yeah, I'm about to make this green tea and <laughs> move on. Okay, guys, I'll be back soon. Guys, I had to jump back on. Look, I made my green juice. Mm. It is so good. And it's thicker this time than last time. I mean, I don't know. This might not be a thing. I can't tilt it because it will spill. And I'm not trying to clean up all that. <laughs> but yeah, this is like much thicker. So the trick was 
putting less juice in because I used the apple cider again in this one and I just put less. I probably put like half the amount. So the ounces, I think last time, hold on, let me see. I probably put, mm, I think I probably put close to 16 ounces last time. This time I put eight. So, and I didn't get to put the, uh, I didn't get to show you guys the actual um, ginger. I put ginger in there <laughs> for that digestive. This is the best digestive drink you can make. I made it up myself. But it, <laughs> in addition to that Mag 7, it, it's doing a couple of things, you know? Mm-hmm. I promise you, you guys make this drink, you're going to have brighter skin, okay? A nice glow. Dig digestive track, track is going to be moving around, doing its thing, you know what I'm saying? Things will start to be regular. But you got to do this at least once a day. And you got to take your multivitamins as well. You know, I want to show you guys the multivitamins that I take. So this is this is up to you if you want to do it. But let me go get it. I'm back. So this is My Kind Organics, if you can see it. This is Women Once Daily. So you take this once a day. Let me show you how big the pills is, because I know y'all can't wait. <laughs> it's kind of big though. It's, it's, I don't know, to some people it could be like really big. Uh, let me see if I had to measure it on my finger. <laughs> it's that long, it's, it's, it's kind of long. And that's to the tip of my finger, so I mean. But whatever, it's a multivitamin. <laughs> They're probably gonna be around the same size. But some people take gummies. I don't think they have this brand in the gummies, but 60 vegan tablets come in here. And um, they've been good to me. Like, I have not had a problem. Um, and then also what I take is the uh, Collagen Builder. Same brand, my kind. And oh, if your husband uses vitamins, multivitamins, which you should encourage him to do, they have this in the men's because I, I do have it for my husband. And it looks exactly the same, but I think the color might be blue or something like that. Um, this is an organic plant. All, both of these are both organic, you know. And there was another point I wanted to point out on here. Yeah, it re I, I want to say it recognizes your body okay how what's the best way to say this your body recognizes this as food so it'll break down faster that's the bottom line so that that's really what i have to say this also is six, 60 tablets so i mean i normally take two a day of these like so i'll do one at breakfast and then one at lunch or one at breakfast and then one at dinner or one at lunch and then dinner I mix it up, but I take it twice a day. So that's that. Um, when I was using this regularly, twice a day on point, same time, consistently, like breakfast, dinner, give or take, right? That's probably the easiest way to do it. My skin was so clear. It was ridiculous. So I think in the combination with the green juice, Cleaning out your digestive tract and uh, doing this multivitamin, you'd be good. If you're holding on to a lot of water weight, there is another product that you can use. And I want to say I have it. Let me see if I can get it for you. Okay, guys, hold your horses. <laughs> All right, this is Mary Ruth's lymphatic support. So as you can see, I only have a little bit left because I've been using the hell out of this thing. But I normally take it before bed. Um, it, it helps drain. Like for me, hold on, let me fix myself. <laughs> it's getting a little crazy. Okay, um, I'm about to change my clothes. But for me, like... 
when I wake up, I have to use the bathroom, like for sure. Like, and, and I mean, just like not the number two, the number one, like, but it literally makes you feel tighter. Like, you know what I mean? You don't feel as bloated. It helps out and aid. Actually, I'm going to drop this right now. Well, you could do it whatever time of the day you want. They said you can actually use up to 30 drops. Well, actually, no. One serving size would be 30 drops. But suggested use three times a day. One to three times a day. So you can use it more than once. So I'm going to put this in my smoothie. And you really want to shake it up. I can't remember the price for all these things, but I feel like they were fairly reasonable. This might have been in the 20s, late 20s, or early 30s. Like maybe this was like 35 or something like this. This was probably like 27 or something. This one, same thing, like 20s, late 20s or whatever like that. So they're fairly affordable. And if normally I just like to put water in my mouth and then I uh, squirt this down. Okay. <laughs> This, that might not sound that great. All right, let me see the best way to say it. Because <laughs> I be always trying to like, <laughs> help me out, okay? Help me help you. Best thing you want to do is, <laughs> if you have a straw, sip some water. And when your mouth is pretty full with the water, you want to slightly open your mouth. And then once you obtain the liquid from the bottom you just want to slowly drop 30 drops the best way you can okay down your mouth okay and that's the that's all i got for y'all with that <laughs> but this stuff is good like so yeah if you did all of what i've said in terms of the mago 7 and i'll show it to you again just in case you missed it for seven to ten days you're doing this every day. You're taking this every day and you're taking this every day. Okay. So your multivitamin, the collagen, your drainage, lymphatic support. Okay. Um, the Mago 7 for 7 to 10 days. And you're drinking your green, your green drink every day. You should be straight. I guarantee you, right? Because this is not patent and I don't work for any of these companies. But based on my experience... At my age, and I kind of disclosed it earlier, this is how I keep it together, okay? I'm just letting you know. Skin is important. <laughs> that face, you want a soggy face. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you got to do what you got to do. Exercise is just as important, guys. Like, I'm not eliminating that. Don't think that I am. But uh, um, sometimes it's just not feasible for everybody. But if you would get a good 10, 20 minutes, maybe on a treadmill or just some type of cardio... That's better than nothing. So try to get that in too. Look, it's what you consume. That's really what, what it boils down to. 90% of the time is what you consume, right? So like if you eat in well, you work out less. Think smart. Let's think smart. New year about to come. You know what I'm saying? I know you want to be looking like a whole snack in the summertime. So let's not forget. Mm-hmm. By the way, guys, today is Monday, and I'm trying to start this Monday off right. So I'm going to be doing everything I need to do to make sure I'm healthy and safe. <clears throat> and I want you guys to do the same thing, be healthy and safe, okay? So I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog because I feel like it's so long, and I know I want to have other things that I want to talk about, but I just don't have anything else to talk about in relation to all of this stuff so whatever else i do have to talk about um in regards say to like to makeup because i do want to do that fancy one i do want to take you guys outside and do some stuff there there's a couple of ideas that have been suggested to me to do i want to do a story time so i'm going to be doing that too so like every day it'll be a surprise it'll be a okay this is my update with this mago 7 but okay, here's a bonus. So like, let's do that. Like, let's make a story time for tomorrow. So like, story times are good with me because I make it hot. I make it hot. <laughs> all right. So I will talk to y'all tomorrow. All right. So thanks for watching. If you guys haven't liked, 
subscribe or like, comment, and subscribe in that order, however you want to do it, please do it now because like I am definitely a good time and you will see that and I'm pretty consistent with my postings and I want to bring you guys along with everything that I'm doing, okay? So I'm going to finish this green drink, make my eggs. I got to prepare dinner for later for my husband and all that good stuff. So I will see you guys soon, all right? So bye, and I'll talk to you later. I lied, guys. I'm actually back. <laughs> I'm like literally halfway through with this green drink. Mm. I always try to go back in my video to make sure that I mentioned everything that I wanted to mention. And if not, then I'll just pop back up. So this is a bonus, okay? Now, um, I spoke about this lymphatic drainage support. If you don't know what that means, because I don't think I did a great job with explaining exactly what it is and what it does. Um, at least I wasn't as detailed as I wanted to be, right? So, like, if you're suffering from retaining water weight, okay? So, I don't know. Maybe you're con consuming too much salt or whatever. You're just retaining the water, right? This will help reduce that water weight. So, for example... Most people that, okay, this is a better example and way to put it because I was trying to make it <laughs> lame as terms. If you weighed 150, right, and you some way eliminated a lot of water weight, whether it was you going to the sauna or you working out every day for a month, whatever it is, and you got back on the scale and it went down to like 135 and you're like, how did I lose all that weight that fast? It's probably because it was water weight. So this helps with that, this lymphatic drainage support. And this is why you could take it up to three times a day because it's going to make you use the bathroom and, and you're going to pee basically. But it's going to be a lot more than normal. You know what I mean? Especially if you're already drinking water. This thing in combination with that, you're constantly going. So all that water weight is coming out. Anytime you eliminate doing the number one, that's great. You know, you're, you're eliminating your toxins. You're eliminating your water weight and all that good stuff. Now, I'm not a licensed practitioner, uh, doctor or or a practitioner, whatever. I'm not. I'm not any of that. I'm just organic beauty, and I can just tell you what happens for me. <laughs> okay, let me just put that out there for that disclaimer. But yeah, this stuff here, the Amy, it was a Mary Ruth. Sorry, I don't know. I was thinking about Amy Ruth in Harlem. Uh, yeah. Well, by the way, that's a good, uh, that's a very good soul food spot. If you ever go to Harlem in New York City, go to Amy Ruth's. It's pretty good. All right, I'm back to this. So her name is Mary Ruth. <laughs> okay. And she has a ton of different products, like for different things. So. If you have a particular need, you can go through it. But like this stuff here is really, really, really good if you're holding and retaining to your water weight. Uh, I want to see, and I have never tried this, but like, you know how you're on your menstrual and then like it's just retaining all that <laughs> bloating and water, whatever. I wonder how this would be around that time. I've never paid attention enough to see if it made a difference. And normally I do this once a day. I don't do it even three times. I'll do it at night. And in the morning time, I just have to use the bathroom really fast. Like, you know, and sometimes at night, you know, I, I kind of have to get up and use the bathroom. because so I'm like, oh my God, I can't hold it no more. You know what I mean? Yeah, eliminating all that water. So I just wanted to make that clear with this lymphatic drainage. And you can even go to the spa. They have uh, different spa treatments, actually. You can go and get like lymphatic drainage done to you as well. So I don't know how that all works because I've never gotten one, but I've heard about it and people like it, you know? So if you don't have anything to do, you can always try to do that. I mean, <laughs> whatever you wanna do, but if you wanna do something that's a little bit more practical and perhaps more affordable, like I said, I think this is probably like 20 something bucks and you can do that. And that's all I have. And I'm, and I'm dead serious this time. Like that's all I have about that. And I did think about what I want for dinner to have tonight. I think I'm gonna make it a taco night. Why not? And I wanna I wanna try this particular taco. Let me show y'all. Cause I got something cooking too, so I gotta make sure. Okay. So this is the taco street kit. 
This is asado chicken. Do you know Chipotle used to have asado chicken and now they don't have it no more? Chipotle, bye. Look, get your life. Bring that asado chicken back, Chipotle. <laughs> Meanwhile, I went ahead and, and got this myself as a kit. And it looks like it's a little different than what a normal kit. Because I don't normally use this brand, too. And that's another thing. But, and, and this looks like soft tacos. See, I'm, I'm not a soft taco kind of girl. I like the hard tacos. <laughs> okay? So, but this includes medium creamy jalapeno sauce, which I don't even know. Um, I'm not into spice, so like, I don't know how I'm gonna react to that. And then it includes mild asado seasoning mix. Now I'm assuming the uh, seasoning mix will just be what you season your meat with. The sauce could be just something in addition as an option. So it'll probably wind up looking like that. But it's ready in 20 minutes according to this box. Okay, which is great. And I think on the side, what I'll do is some corn and then I'll also do some cilantro rice. Oh, and maybe some hard nacho chips or something like that. Why not? You know, since this is soft already and you know, just make it a good bite. Maybe have some wine, Roscato is nice. You know, maybe I'll actually pop back in. Cause I did say that this video was over, right? <laughs> It just keeps going and going. So I am going to try to get y'all a picture of what it looks like later. And then I'll post this later on tonight. I'll do that for y'all. You got my word. I will take a picture of how it all comes out. I got you, booze. All right, guys. Until next time, I will see y'all soon. But uh, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs>